Welcome, children of God. Welcome to RunAllGodsChildren.com, where Jesus is the teacher. He's going to show us what he wrote to us. I'm the runner. For the prize in the holy book, I called on the Lord 40 years ago and I received his word. Yes, I received our Lord God Almighty, the one that everybody say they know, and our grandfather God that everybody say is his their father, but he is grand. For his son created everything. I read that to you. All things was created by Jesus Christ. Oh, children of God, listen and learn and read God's word for yourself. I read to you, if you trust in man, you are cursed. So man can't even trust in their self. This world is supposed to be one nation under God. If it's one nation under God, where all the unbelievers come from? Where are the ones that are fighting God's children? Oh, children of God. Our God is angry at us. Especially the way they are teaching God's children. Oh, Grandfather God, this world will call you grand, for you are grand. You gave your only begotten Son to show us who is the true and living Word. Yes. He was born from a woman's womb. But they, most, don't believe that your son, Grandfather God, is the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. And I'll tell them why I'm praying to you this way. Because I'm going to show these children that we are the children of our Lord, God, Father, Jesus Christ, all mighty. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all the children. And the reason I'm sharing it is because they think they know everything, my Lord. But my grandfather, God, you will make them marvel. I pray unto you, and I pray unto thy son, please do what's written for me. Yes, I ask our Lord and Savior to do what's written for me. He prayed, and when he prayed, what happened? He said he has sent someone. Yes, I could be that one that they are going to send. And may God be with us. This, what I'm about to read, 
is setteth the Lord God. Welcome, children of God. Welcome, children of God. The Acts, the second chapter, the 17th to the 23rd verse. And it shall come to pass in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. 18th verse. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days of my spirit. And they shall prophesy. 19th verse. And I will show wonders in heavens above and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapors of smoke. 20th verse. The sun, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord come. 21st verse. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. 22nd verse. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know, the 23rd verse, him being delivered by the determinate Consuls and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain everything they done to our Lord is written. Everything our Lord and Savior have done for us is written. Read for yourself. You stand alone. Oh, my Lord, Father, God, Jesus Christ, Almighty, I'm ministering unto you. Didn't find out until this year I read it to you that I'm ministering unto the Lord. I won't have to talk to you trying to get God's children to understand me, my God. My Lord, before our grandfather God and them that hear me, they are my witness unto you, my Lord. Thank you too, my Lord and Grandfather God, for the doctrine, my testimony. Today I'm writing, it shall come to pass. The promise you wrote to us, who believe Lord God's word. I'm calling on you, my Lord. And grandfather God, please do what's written for me. Let's look up the verse. And it shall, it shall come to pass. It's cited from Joel, the second chapter, the 28th through the 32nd verse. It shall come to pass afterward. 
that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. The 29th verse. And also upon the servant and upon the handmaidens. In those days, I will pour out my spirit. The 30th verse. And I will show wonders in heavens and in the earth. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The 31st verse. The sun shall turn into darkness and the moon into blood. Before that great and terrible day of the Lord come. 32nd verse. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance as the Lord hath said and the remnants whom the Lord shall call. Oh, United States of America, the land that you say is of the free. This world do not know that our Lord and Savior, and I read it to you, is the governor of all nations. Oh, Lord, my Father, God, Jesus Christ, you have a terrible day. It shall come to pass after our grandfather, God, showed the promise that was written of him. Oh, grandfather, God, you born a witness that you sent to your only son, our father. Please open the children's eyes and let them know the runner. I called on you and your son to show them what I'm reading to them. The 17th verse, I will pour Isaiah, the 44th chapter, the third verse. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon the seas and my blessings upon thy offspring. Oh, my Lord. The children doesn't know what one will say and another shall call himself. And another shall subscribe with his hands unto the Lord and surname himself by the name of Israel. Read for yourself. These are the things that are going to show all God's children that he's almighty. Oh, my Lord, my God, that made me, formed me from the womb. Oh, Grandfather God, that born me, who believe you're doing. Yea, my Lord, Isaiah, the chapter 20, the 44th chapter, will come to pass. You will show them the 17th verse. I will pour. Acts, the 10th chapter, the Acts, the 10th chapter, the 45th verse. And they of the circumcision which believed were astonished 
and many as came with Peter, because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. The 17th verse. Your daughter shall. Acts, the 21st chapter, the 9th verse. And the same man had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. You can read that chapter about that. The 18th verse has nothing to look up. So I wrote down what's written. The 18th chapter. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I will pour out in those days my spirit. And they shall prophesize. The 19th verse. Wonders in heaven. Acts, the second chapter, the 22nd verse. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man proved by God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourself also know. Isn't that what you taught? That our Lord and Savior did these things? Wonders in heaven, again. St. John, the fourth chapter, the 48th verse. Then said Jesus unto him, except you see signs and wonders, you will not believe. Even now, you wouldn't believe. That's why our grandfather God, and why should I call him God, Father, and you do not understand that he is grand. So I call him Grandfather God because his son created everything. And those that are head of God's house, he's going to get to them. He's going to show everybody that his son is the creator of everything. Because you would have to go to his son to stop him from his marvel. He's going to make you marvel. Grandfather God. And if he's not yours, he's my grandfather God. And I'm here to show you. My. Oh, my Lord. What I get out of reading your words is to know you, my Lord. Jesus of Nazareth. A man approved by God. My Lord, who would believe that I am ministering unto you? And my Lord, I understand how the children is taught. They put their trust in man and not you. My Lord, Except ye see signs and wonders, ye believe not. Who cares, my Lord? The 20th verse. The sun shall. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. The 29th verse. Immediately. After the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. In this chapter 24 of Matthew, you will read the beginning of sorrow, tribulation, 
Let me tell you what it means. A cause of great trouble or suffering and a state of great terrible or suffering. Oh, Lord. You are showing us our iniquity. Now, iniquity, immoral and grossly unfair behavior. If you sit and you judge me, yeah, you're sinning. Because isn't it written, judge not, unless you be judged. Those that are head of God's house, judge. I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book, and I will win. For he did not give me his word and take it back. I still got it. Everyone will know. Oh, Lord, every nation is full of iniquity. Every nation don't know you, my Lord, is governor of all nations. The 21st verse, whosoever shall call, is cited also from Romans, the 10th chapter, the 13th verse. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I read to you, continue in your doctrine. For in doing so, you can save yourself both. In doing so, you can save yourself and those that hear me. You are my witness, children. And I don't know why this isn't going viral. But I can understand why. Because you put your trust in men. And the true believer come, you don't know who he is. Even if he show you through God's word who he could be. But he tells you, me, I'm telling you, I'm the runner for the prize in the holy book to share with all God's children because y'all so selfish. You wouldn't do it. And those that are head of God's house wouldn't do it. If they did, they would know me. Oh, my Lord, who believes? It is written in Romans, the 10th chapter, also the 10th verse. For with the heart, man believe unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confess, confessions is made unto salvation. Oh, my Lord. I don't know what's in the children's heart. I read, you wrote, they honor you with their mouth and their hearts is far away from you. My Lord, oh my Lord. It is also written, Romans the 10th chapter, the 16th verse. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah said, Lord, who have believed our report? I have asked the Lord who believed God's word. Please, my Lord, forgive the children and those that are head of God's house. Yes, I ask for forgiveness for all of us. For we have come short of glory. And if anybody tell you they saved, ask them, why is it written? All, all 
have come short of glory. The 22nd verse, Jesus of Nazareth. St. Luke, the 24th chapter, the 19th verse. And he said unto them, what things? And they said unto him, concerning Jesus of Nazareth which was a prophet mighty indeed in word before God and all the people. Read that chapter. Approved of God. St. John, the third chapter, the second verse. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou dost except God be with him. Miracles and wonders. Hebrew, the second chapter, the fourth verse. God also hearing them witnesses, both with signs and wonders, and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will. Oh Lord, as in the prophetication in the day of temptation in the wilderness is the way the world is today. Let me tell you what provocation is. P-R-O-V-O-C-A-T-I-O-N. Action or speech that makes someone annoyed, annoyed or angry especially deliberately. That's what the children did to our God. He told Moses, go on back down there. Them, them stiff necks, us, stiff necks. Don't believe nothing, believe everything will somebody else say. Let, come on, let's build a statue and worship it. And the children did. Just like now, someone to come along and say, hey, let's go down there and take over a house. And how many people go and try to take over a house? Oh, children of God, this is one nation under God. And the governor of this nation is the God of Abraham, Isaac. And Jacob, to let you know who I'm talking about, the 23rd verse, determinate counsel, and St. Luke, the 22nd chapter, the 22nd verse, and truly the son of man goeth, and as it is determined it. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. Right now, I can say, this world is betraying God. I tell you why. Because I'm the runner. I came here showing you through his word that I called on him. And whosoever shall call upon the name, the name of the Lord shall be saved. And I'm hoping to be saved. Everybody say they saved. I'm hoping to be saved. Who cares? Determined counsel. St. Luke, the 22nd chapter, the 22nd verse. And truly the son of man goeth as it is determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. Just judging me? 
Well, you will be judged. So I say this much to all God's children. Listen and learn. Run with me. For I will read God's word and he will show you what is written. For knowledge of God. That's in the 23rd verse 2. First Peter, the first chapter, the second verse. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. D-E-T-E-R-M-I-N-A-T-E -E -E, Determinate having exact discredible limits or form. Sanctification, the action or making or declaring something holy, the action or proceeding of being free from sin or purified. The action of causing something to be or seem morally right or acceptable. Seem right or acceptable. That's what they got people believing. They don't even know, my Lord, my God, that you hate. Sixteen you hate, yea, the seventh is abomination unto you. They're not taught that. I haven't found no one that is taught that. No one have wrote me back and said, yes, I read that. No, they want to down somebody. Talk about somebody. And I do not have an interpreter. I do not have someone speaking for me. Moses said that, Lord, how can I tell these people and I can't talk well? Well, I can't talk well neither, but I wouldn't want no man to talk for me. For all I have to do is read you God's word to run in God's race. Read God's word and you run in God's race. Coming to run all God's children dot com, you're in God's race because I'm the runner. St. Luke, the 21st chapter, the 22nd verse. For these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Now you know why I'm reading it to you. Because it is written, thee, for these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. Oh Lord, it is written. Romans, the first chapter, the 21st verse. Because that, when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Neither were they thankful, but became vain in their imagination. And their foolish heart was darkened. Well, children, I read you something that I felt it's important because it's not my word said it the Lord God that's what I read to you said it the Lord God 
Oh, children, thank you for your time. Thank you for coming to runallgodschildren.com. I hope God be with us. This world need a spanking. Everybody need to go back to God. For it is written, children, every word come out of your mouth will be that of God. Don't know how he's going to do it, but that's written. And he never let me down. And I read, God don't lie. Heaven, he wrote what he said he will do in heaven. He's, haven't he done it? He said he sent someone back. I could be the person. But I read to you, if I'm not mistaken, let every man prove himself that he may rejoice in himself alone and not in another. Children of God, Thank you for coming to run all God's children. Take care of yourself. He's going to get this world. And our grandfather God is going to make this world marvel. And all those that are head of God's house is going to give him that respect. They're going to say, Grandfather God, and they won't get them mixed up with our Lord, Father God, Almighty Jesus Christ. Because they took him and they hung him. They nailed his hands and feet to a tree. Take care of yourself, y'all. Thank you for coming to RunOnGodsChildren.com where Jesus is the teacher. He is going to show you what is written and his words will be prolonged no more.